Hi, it's so nice to talk to you today. Hi, Hi. Nice to you, Alexandra. This movie has so much going for it from the special appearances to the music, which I really enjoyed, and the really nice uh, message about friendship. Now, you're probably going to think I was, you know, living under a rock, but this is actually the first SpongeBob movie I've ever seen. I really enjoyed it, but tell me how, how did it differ from previous um, appearances by SpongeBob? Well, you know, I love, to say that. I, I love to hear you say that, Alexander, because one thing I, you know, I always say and, and that we talk about is that, you know, after, when you've been doing a character for 20 years, you know, you know, if you're not careful, you can get in a rut, you know what I mean? Which, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so like, so like one of my motivations is that the SpongeBob thing that you're recording today in 2020 might very well be the first SpongeBob thing that anyone that, that a person sees, like it'll be their on their, their ramp onto the SpongeBob uh, freeway. So, so that's what this movie uh, was for you. So thanks for validating my, uh, my cornball, uh, my cornball theory. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's, it really is a, you know, the show was really all about characters and relationships kind of who they are is so much more important than what they do. And it, it's really just about, you know, not just SpongeBob and Patrick, but all the characters in the movie, Mr. Krabs and, and on the show, Squidward and Sandy and Plankton. And they, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's really about how they interact with each other. And this, this movie in particular is about the interaction between SpongeBob and Patrick, you know, and, and, and this, this road trip they take together to save SpongeBob's uh, a kidnapped snail, Gary, who, who he's also very loyal to, but in a, a more, different way than than he is to patrick it's a pet versus a versus a pal but um yeah so we, we got kind of two two buddy movies in one now you've both been voicing your characters spongebob and patrick for over 20 years how have things changed in the filming process over that time well in terms of us uh and the, the work we do uh you know when we're doing the show it's the same um uh, I think we've been able to sustain uh, one of the keys to to our show, which is we all work together and where it's like we're doing a radio play. And, you know, I don't know if we all broke it down and did it individually, maybe it would be the same, but I, I really believe it would not be. Um, so that's been a really a, a great aspect of this absurdly long running gig that to me hasn't, gotten old at all it only gets more enjoyable and rewarding which totally defies logic i'm almost, yes. I'm almost it's, it's, it's sort of miraculous to, to me like like every day you know always has been really but 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 it's funny you, you you value it more as it goes on as opposed to less you know and uh as you see what what legs and what reach it has that as as the extent of those things just keeps uh, uh, bypassing any expectations that you had, you know, and as, as a freelancer, or as a actor, artist, or whatever, you're always kind of trying to keep your expectations low to protect yourself from heartbreak <laughs> and rejection. And SpongeBob <laughs> just keeps on, keeps on uh, getting better and more fun and lovelier and, 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 and people keep on liking it. So it's, it, it feels like a, like a dream, you know, in, in a weird way. So, um, uh, yeah, it's 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 a it's a it's a real beautiful uh, beautiful experience. Most animated films have the actors voice their characters one at a time, and I understand that's not the process for you. Can you describe to me what it's like doing your voices for SpongeBob movies? I think the 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 dynamic that that viewers experience with SpongeBob and Patrick is uh, that's a, a reflection of uh, in in part of of us working together. And, and there's, and I, I, I don't know how people do it individually. I really don't because you're, you're constantly informed moment to moment by what this other incredible performer named Tom Kenny, who looks a lot like that guy, uh, <laughs> about what's coming from, from him and from that character and it, that constant and that, and then that echoes back and it echo, echoes back and it, and it, and it builds for me uh, uh, kind of a, it's endlessly nuanced for me. You um, know, I think yeah. 
you know, Bill used the word term radio play, and it really is like being on a radio comedy team, right? Like our faces aren't there, but kind of what Bill does and what Bill says and how he says it and where he puts the inflections or if he ad libs something like that really informs what what I'm going to do or say and and vice versa. So, um, you know, so. Yes, it's it's definitely not the way most animated movies do it. They, it's just easier for them to bring in everybody separately and then and then chop everybody up and Frankenstein them t- together, so to speak. But I, you know, I do, you know, I am on a bunch of other animated shows where you do record that way, and you know, you you know, it's you could do it. It's a skill that 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 we have, but you're sort of always kind of guessing what the other people's going to do. You're making your best guess. Like, oh, okay, so, you know, whatever, Kevin will probably say it this way, and then I'll do a take this other way, just in case Kevin says his line this other way. So you're kind of always just kind of second guessing. And when you're in there together, there's no, uh, there's no guessing. It's just, it's just doing, doing uh, comedy together. It's, you, you know what it feels like to me? It feels like, you know, when you're, audi- when you're preparing for an audition, yeah. and, <laughs> and you've got to carry so much weight, you know, like, what the other character is going to be doing, you know? And uh, so it feels like doing an audition when you're recording alone. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's less, uh, yeah, it's definitely less like just, just, you know, getting let off the leash and just run, 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 running around. That That's kind of what we do when we're working together. <laughs> well, I, I wish I had more time, but I don't. And I want to I thank do. you so much for talking to me today and much success when this movie hits theaters on Friday. Great. Well, thank you. Uh, Thanks, Alexandra. And just know that there's 20 years of SpongeBob for you to catch up on. So get cracking. Yeah, guys. Let's keep moving. <laughs> when I say get cracking, I don't mean the sea monster. Uh, okay, great. Thanks. Thank you.